Well, you've seen doping in many sports, but badminton is not one that I would have expected. Uh, but we are seeing that it's trending on the web in Asia and joining us to talk about that and other trends is Joyce Howe of Google. Joyce, badminton, shuttlecocks, long rackets, what is going on? The big scandal in sports, at least in Singapore and Malaysia last week, was of course uh, that ba Malaysian badminton champion Lee Jong Wei was found to have tested positive for the drug dexamethasone, which is apparently a steroid that some are uh, using in a lot of stem cell trials. And so uh, when he was found to have tested positive for this drug, his titles were stripped um, and that caused a huge stir. Does it come in other things? Uh, is this, is he saying it's inadvertent or? He's saying that it's in a lot of experimental drug trials, but in any case, it kind of triggered the, the positive testing for drugs, so. So moving on, what else are we seeing that um, people in Asia are searching for on Google? A big pan-Asian trend this past week was WhatsApp's blue ticks. So if you're a heavy user of WhatsApp, the mobile messaging app, you will have noticed a new feature, which is when you send somebody a text message on WhatsApp, um, one tick shows up. And then if it gets sent to the server, two checks show up. And now, starting this past week, when they read the message, you get a blue set of uh, double ticks. Ticks, like? Check marks? Yes, well, exactly. Americans would call it check marks, but everyone else seems to call it ticks. And what's interesting is that even though WhatsApp is an American company, its use is really primarily outside of the US. So people were calling it blue ticks because that's what they call those things. And I remember seeing the story that some people are getting flipped out by this. What, what's the big issue? Yeah, it's caused a lot of um, heartache and grief, you know, when you send somebody a text message and they don't respond, a lot of the, um, buzz online was about the fact that people should have been able to read it, your text message, right? This blue check mark, they don't have an excuse anymore. They, they, other people can see when they've read their message. Well, you know what else causes a lot of heartache and grief is body odor, uh, especially armpit odor. And we were talking about that before. Why is that trending now on Google? Well, in Taiwan right now, they're having mayoral elections all across the country. And one of the candidates for the Taipei city mayor position, Sean Lin, was caught in a rather curious pose. It kind of looks like this, where he's doing, you know, this kind of strange pose. And a lot of people are dubbing it the Wenye Qingyan pose, or armpit sniffing youth. So this, of course, spawned a lot of hilarious memes online. A lot of celebrities and sports people in Taiwan are posting pictures of themselves doing that pose. It could also be a hard-hitting issue here in our studio when a middle-aged guy is doing the same thing. Um, Joyce Howell from Google, thank you very much for joining us and talking about trends in Asia. Thank you.